Thing, buddy. Huh? All right, so a bit of a verb view because yesterday I could not hold my arm up long enough. Uh, too used to the tripod. I'm live from the Atlantic Security Conference, day two. Obviously, a bit of a mobile rig. You saw a quick shot of the beautiful Halifax sky, um, firing off from the uh, Raspberry uh, mobile uh, for audio, um, which hopefully is working quite well here. A um, couple things I want to talk about, and you saw it in the title. I want to talk about the hallway con. Um, this is really con as in conference, not con as in confidence scam. Um, this is really what a lot of these conferences are about. So um, the Atlantic Security Conference has multiple tracks, jam-packed full of phenomenal speakers. Um, saw a good chunk of another talk this morning um, by Matt Middleton, software tester coming into the security world, sh sharing his educational journey. Yesterday, I uh, saw phenomenal talks from uh, Dave Lewis from Akamai. Um, uh, saw Anna Manley, um, a phenomenal legal um, expert and legal mind in uh, cybersecurity here in Canada. Um, just great talk after great talk after great talk. Um, that's wonderful, and that's really sort of the draw for the conference. But even more important, um, you know, is the hallway conversations that you have at these conferences. And I know sometimes people feel a little awkward um, about approaching strangers or uh, talking to folks they don't know necessarily or kind of recognize maybe from Twitter. Um, but this is a huge advantage about being here on site um, at a conference like this. So at the Atlantic Security Conference, there's over 700 people here um, split across two floors and, and multiple rooms. We all keep coming back together for break, um, back here for lunches, things like like that there's a wonderful opportunity to talk simply explore see what's going on um, get a different perspective a different point of view we're all here for the same thing we're all obviously very interested in cybersecurity. we're interested in technology um, if you're in a talk with somebody afterwards or waiting for the speaker to start you have even more in common obviously something about that title something about the abstract something about the speaker drew you both in um, why not just turn and say hey I'm mark um, this is a, you know I'm really excited about this talk or afterwards from the talk saying like hey um, what's going on um, here you go. Uh, here's, you know, like, wasn't that an interesting point? I um, just saw a funny comment here on Twitter. Um, wasn't that an interesting point that the speaker made about how they found it challenging to find great educational material? You know, what I found useful was blah, 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 blah. Um, that is a huge amount of the value. Um, that is unfortunately one of the things that doesn't necessarily translate online. Um, attempts like this, live streaming, uh, follow the Twitter stream. So um, hashtag um, ATL, SEC, CON, no, alt, or uh, Adelsec Con, which we discussed this morning, has really difficult to say. Uh, but these are great ways to follow along um, sort of the vibe of the conference, of what's going on um, from afar. I and mean, that's better than nothing. But really, if you're here, if you're not talking to people, if you're not putting yourself out there, you're really doing yourself a disservice because that is the vast majority of, you know, sort of the serendipitous crazy meets of like, oh, I talked to so and so um, and I heard a, you know, really crazy idea and I followed up on it and it seemed really interesting. Um, good example of that was um, the speaker's dinner last night. So every year uh, the um, team here host a speaker's dinner. All the speakers are invited and um, you can get a ticket as an attendee to come and um, uh, mingle, to chat. Um, and some of the discussions were absolutely phenomenal. I met uh, a researcher from uh, GoSecure, uh, Masahara. I, I posted out, and of course I can't say her name in English, um, I posted out her research paper that she was the lead author on um, uh, this morning on Twitter. I'll retweet that in a few minutes. Um, but you know, fascinating conversation on how she has a criminology background, she's a threat researcher now, and she was tracking down um, Bitcoin payment networks. Never would have necessarily stumbled across that, but um, because you know everyone was having a good chat, um, talked about her research, and she walked me through what she was going on, and you know a big table discussion ensued around the challenges of um, tracking payment, of the legalities of it, ransomware in general, and just a phenomenal amount of energy and ideas uh, coming up. And that's really what this stuff is all about. This ties very deeply to what I was talking about yesterday, what Ted was talking about in his keynote, um, of being educators, of sharing. Remember, there's always somebody behind you on the ladder of learning. There's always people ahead of you. Um, if you're not sharing, um, if you're not out there engaging, you're missing a huge opportunity so make sure you put yourself out there I'm getting back out there so that I can talk to some folks um, if you see me say hi uh, never shy um, despite being sometimes feeling awkward about it but if you don't put yourself out there what are you gonna gain right you got nothing to lose um, go for it we'll talk to you soon have a great day it's Friday I will talk to you guys on Monday enjoy the weekend if you're here say hi